morning, everybody. Olav here, and welcome to Love Chronicles The Spell. Uh, this is one of those fun little uh, hidden object type games. Uh, big surprise from Big Fish Games is where I got it. Uh, but it's one that is an, a series and has a good storyline behind it. Has a continuing story and stuff like that. It's not just kind of, oh, go find this and we kind of tack on the story in the background, sort of, but not really. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to go ahead and go with regular mode. Let's see what the story has to offer for us. A long time ago in a faraway kingdom, there once was a prince. He had everything he ever wanted, but wasn't happy. Typical. Every night he had the same dream, or rather nightmare. He told his parents of this dream, and dear gods, how fast he need to go. In the dream, he saw an evil witch filled with hate. A kingdom in turmoil. A beautiful girl trapped within. Well, that's not good. And the wise old man waiting for help. Soon a maple tree appeared in his dream. There was something special about it, but he didn't know what. One night the old man summoned him for help. Time was running out. The parents bid his parents good his parents and his kingdom goodbye. They wished him well on his journey with tears in their eyes. The prince set out to fulfill, to f set out full of excitement and fear. Did not know ne where he was going or when he would get there, but he knew this was his destiny. Wait, how did he know where to go if he didn't know? He didn't know where he was going, but he knew he was, uh, huh? After many days, he reached the top of a hill and saw a kingdom below. The very kingdom of his, of the very kingdom that haunted his dream. But it looked deserted. The prince feared he was too late, but he knew he must try and find the old man. The cabin ahead seemed like a good place to start. All right. So yeah. Um. Hello? Old man. Seems whoever is inside can't hear me knocking. I should find the missing doorbell. Now this is one of those, this is one of those interesting ones because it's not like, okay, find this and find that and find, you know, stuff that you don't need. It's find little bits and, shut up, I don't. Yes, turn them off. See, it's find little bits of what you need. For example, um, Here's the main part of the bell. Looks like I need a ladder to reach the doorbell. Well, now we need to build a ladder. And in order to build the ladder, we are going to need lumber. So there's two bits of wood. Cool. But we also need pliers. So we need to find uh, the not only bits of wood, but we also need to find the bits of the pliers. And we can zoom in. Okay, there's the there's the bolt that goes into the pliers. And like I said, it's kind of interesting this way because you're not finding stuff that you don't need. You're, everything that you are finding and looking for and clicking on is part of what you need in order to do the thing. So there's our hammer. There's our pliers. So we still need one bit of wood and we need some nails. Well, the pliers will pull the nails out. Why is that stump shaped like a chair, but with nails in? 
You don't, you, you don't put nails into a, a, a someplace where you're going to sit. So now we use the hammer on the wooden nails to construct our ladder. And we put the ladder up to the bell. Now we've got the bell. Now we just need to put the bell on the door and ring it. Nobody's answering. I guess I will have to enter without an invitation. Yeah, because you're so sure that this is the right effing house, you're just gonna barge right in. A portrait of a lovely girl. Could she be the one from my dreams? This must be the old man from my dream. I'll wait uh, till he wakes up to talk to him. In the meantime, I should make some tea for the both of us. That's very forward. That is very, very forward. Just, oh, this old man, he's just asleep. We just, well, well, we'll just make some tea. We'll just make some tea. No biggie, no big deal. It's just kind of what we do. We, we barge into people's houses and we make tea. Rotate the rings until the image, okay. Easy enough. There. Oh look, the head of a spoon in a book. What? What? Since this does not make. Okay, so we still need like the round like The round bit basically that holds the that holds the bucket together. Uh, we need to finish up our spoon, which looks like he was using the handle of the spoon as a bookmark, which is is kind of weird. All right, we're gonna make dandelion and thistle tea. Okay, not exactly the type of tea that I would would make, but all right, I mean, to each their own. All right, boil the water. Dump that in, dump that in. Stir it, yep, okay. We've reached two. I, I don't know what the two is. What a wonderful aroma. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure that my call for help had worked. I have so much to tell you. But first, let's enjoy some tea. It's been ages since I've had a cup. That's not true, there's a cup right there, old man. As a matter of fact, you got two cups. Oh, you meant a cup of tea. I'm pretty sure that is not how you serve tea. And now, brave prince, I will tell you why I summoned you. Many years ago, there was a celebration in honor of the princess's birthday. She was the only child of the king and queen and was loved by all. Everyone in the kingdom was invited to the castle for a feast. Well, almost everyone. Deep in the woods, a witch's heart filled with rage at the insult. So she sent the princess an extra special birthday gift, a spell on the entire kingdom. One by one, the princess and everyone in the kingdom fell under her evil spell. They were captured by sleep 
and caught in a web of magical dreams. I was the only one to escape the spell. I've been trying to undo it ever since. You've been trying to undo it for a while, it looks like. I know what must be done, but I cannot return to the kingdom or I too will fall, fall under the spell's curse. And I didn't have time to read the entire thing. We must wake up the princess before the ma last maple leaf falls. Otherwise, the kingdom will be something again too fast. Can't read it. Looks like the old man is resting. I don't want to disturb his sleep. A leaf from the magic maple is on the table. I better take it just in case. There isn't anything else I could sh can do, so I should go and continue my journey. Go to the blacksmith's lodge. Why? Because it's the next... That is one rickety-ass bridge. Fine, blacksmith. Hello! Where's the door handle? It must be around here somewhere. Why is all of this stuff just... Why is it like the door handle fell off? The gutter is blocking the door. I must find a way to release it. Ah, yes, and we are supposed to pick up maple leaves. That's, that's kind of the, the thing with this one, is pick up maple leaves. Okay, what is that? It's a dull piece of tin. The pail is brimming with oil. Cool? Uh, logs of wood. Oh, we need three logs of wood, so we need to cut the logs. We need to cut the log into three pieces. Right. Okay. I need to put something on the... Yeah. Logs. That's too heavy to lift on my own. Maybe if we use the pry bar to pry it up, put the logs under it, and roll it across. Now to find something to prop up the gutter with. Well, I had... Okay, so we need the head of a pike, I guess. That's what it looks like. Okay, there's the other maple leaf, at least. Rag. The piece of tin is not sharp enough. Oh, but there's a honing stone over here. Okay. Right. So now we should be able to cut that. What if we dip that in the, the oil? Okay. But that's still... I was going to say, that's still not getting us what we need. Because I think we need the halberd to prop that. The hinges are rusted. Now we need the oil. Ah! We found the blacksmith! Surprise, surprise, he's in his shop. Hello? The blacksmith must be under the witch's spell. I should finish forging the dagger for him. Why? 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 That does not make sense. Why are you, why, is that what's really needed? That's what's gonna magically wake him up? Is you doing his job for him? That does not make sense. Okay, the shovel should be out here. Ah, I see I'm back there. Yeah, okay. I need something to carry it in, which would be the box. Right. 
I need to create a key as well? Really? Okay, so put the box down. Fill the box. Fine, repair the box. Gosh. No need for nails. We don't need nails. Now, can we get the coal, please? Ay. All right. So now we're ready for we're we're ready to light that sucker up. And we also need to take a real quick break. So we'll be back in just a little bit. Stay tuned. And welcome back everybody from the break. Um, okay, there's the other, great, great. Ah, there's the, the head of the key, all right. So we should be able to come over here and say, I don't think that was right. Okay. So that one needs to go down that and another. Yes. Okay. That needs to go down that and maybe a small. Ah, okay, fine. All right, cool. That one a long and a medium. This one a medium and a short. I think this one just a medium and there we go. Okay, that's got it completed. All right, so now we've got the new key which should unlock the the drawer, which will get us a piece of flint. Is that what it is? That'll light it at least. Now we need to pump it up. There we go, yeah. All right, with the proper tools, I'll finish what the blacksmith started. Again, why are we finishing their work? We don't know for a fact that this will wake him up. This is really kind of guesswork. Bolt? No? Okay, there's nothing there that... Well, where's the... Okay, there's that. Great, but I still need the bolt. Which should be really, really tiny. And I swear, it's like, that should be the bolt, shouldn't it? Oh, the bolt's even tinier than I thought. Damn. Okay. And amazingly enough, thank you, distant traveler. You have freed me from the evil curse of the wicked web of dreams. I suspect I've been asleep for many years because I'm awfully thirsty and my lodge is terribly musty. Can you fetch me some water and let in some fresh air? Dude, I just finished your work for you. I, I literally just did your work. 
just, just did your job for you. And you're seriously gonna ask me to do even more? Do you do anything for yourself? I, I'm beginning to think it wasn't the witch that put the, the cast a, a sleeping spell on him. I think everybody's just terminally lazy here. Oh, that's what it, okay. Oh, that's the window latch, right, okay. There you go, the window is open. Ah, and that's where the, the hook is for that. That will get us the kettle down. And we need to fill it with water, which that should be back at the old man's cabin, yep. And this is one of the other nice little things is when you, you know, if something, okay, this needs to be used over here, no problem. It'll actually take you there. That's much better, kind sir. Now, if it's not too much trouble, can you bring the dagger to my friend, the fisherman? I began forging it for him many years ago. I suspect its purpose was to rid the kingdom of the powerful sorceress guess it's too late for that and take him s and ask him for some fish would you i feel like i haven't eaten in centuries sure thing butteroo because you know i'm just trying to save your your kingdom and everything i did get both i got both of them there okay yeah i did get both of them I got both of the, the, the maple leaves. Right. Hello? No one is answering the door. And the door is locked. Perhaps the fisherman was out fishing. That would make sense. Yep. Ha the fisherman is cursed as well. Maybe catching some fish will disenchant him. But first, I better find some fish food in, the, in his hut. An enchanted cat clutches a key in its paws. Right, so the cat has the key to his house. Why, I don't know, but it does. So we need to catch a mouse. Hopefully the mouse isn't enchanted. Because if the mouse is enchanted, we're kind of screwed. Nope, the mouse is not enchanted. Hallelujah. All right, there's the spring for the trap. Now let's bait it. Yeah, thank you. Carrying, the, what? Carrying the mouse in a trap just won't do. Why not? Why, why can't you just pick up the entire trap? Uh, ah, yes, okay. I still haven't found any maple leaves for this area, though. Which is slightly concerning. All right, so we picked up the trap. We moved the mouse from the trap to a cage. All right. Wake up the cat with a mouse. Take the key. Still seem to be missing a, a, a maple leaf there too. Oops, must not have been the right key. And forcing it broke the sign. You are a menace, good prince. I seriously, this guy is a menace. Oh, and now we need a... We need a crowbar to pull the sign all the way off because we freaking broke it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not really much of a fan of this prince. 
He seems to be kind of a dick. Yep, <laughs> that just, that sounded like it was supposed to come off, didn't it? It's just crack. Oh, oh, all right. But it's not really ready. The barley must be made into porridge. Right. So we have to make porridge out of the... Well, there's the burner. Now I can cook the porridge, but we're gonna need water. Let's just get some water here, cause it doesn't need to be clean water. It just needs to be wet. To cook the barley porridge, I need the heat source. The fish food is ready. Do fish like porridge? Is that, is, is that a thing? I know like some fish like cornmeal, like a, a, a corn, a, a, a cornmeal ball. Oh, you've saved me from the chains of enchantment. But how? And who are you? Finally, somebody who asks the right questions. I'm a traveler from afar. I am here to break the evil witch's spell and restore your kingdom. Your friend, the blacksmith, has asked me to bring you a dagger he began forging long ago. Thank you, Traveler. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this dagger. Now, what would you like in return? Some fish? I believe you can assist me later, but for now, I need some fish to bring back to the blacksmith. Of course, whatever you wish. I'm glad to catch fish for my friend, but I have no fishing rod. So what were you doing here? Just sitting here moping? Really? Were you honest? I think he was. I think he was just sitting there moping. Ah, there's the other one. Okay. So now we need to come back here. We're going to need a bucket. A uh, bucket? Ah, okay, we need to dig. Oh, we need to dig up some worms. Yes, dig up some worms. Awesome. Okay, so we're looking for the bucket handle here. We're looking for the bucket handle. I do not see. Oh! Oh! Well, damn. I feel stupid now. Ah, okay. We're looking for that. Well, there's the bucket. There's clippers? Pliers. Okay, and then bits of pieces of the rod, right. And a box, oh, oh, oh joy. So now we have to match up all of these. What fun. It's still better than some of the, than some uh, some puzzles that that some of these games have. That's for sure. Uh, okay, you look like you were almost in the right spot. You obviously go up there. You. Go right there. 
to snap right into place, thank you. Well, now that is a very weird looking hook. Of course, that means that it's just that much easier to find where it goes. All right, there. Again, another really weird looking hook. I mean, I'm not a fisherman, so I don't know what hooks do good or anything like that. I've been fishing a few times, but not really my thing. So I don't know if these, you know, if some of these, these curly Q hooks work or not. The tackle box is missing a hook. Yes, it is. All right, and that is all the time we have for today. That gets us into the, the game and into the story and understanding what we're doing with this one. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. If you want to see some Cheerio! I will admit that was pretty freaking awesome. It's just like boof, boof, shit. One shot in the gut, one shot in the head. Stupid. We meet some villains, I guess. And this is the most eclectic gang of miscreants I've ever seen.